We've got two pairs of glasses. One, two. There you are. Hi. Hi, guys. This is a wearing your glasses fancy new meal prep. All right. Yep, because I didn't want any contacts today. So, yeah, this is a fancy prep. Hmm. Guess what? We're changing up our meals a little bit. Yeah. So, um, you have to stand like this when you tell everybody that you're um, getting a brand new meal prep. Okay. And you're going to like it, I think. Okay, we're all standing like that. Okay. When you're done standing like this, then you can show the friends. Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. First, Let's show you, we've prepped some fruits and veggies. We're adding um, some fresh fruit into our diet along with the frozen ones that you guys already know that we eat. So to make meal prep easier, um, a tip is to buy like snap peas, which are already prepped basically. You just wash and dry them. We just cut up a cauliflower and a broccoli, washed them, dried them, and tossed them in these containers so that they're ready to just pull from. And as you can see, we've already been pulling from them. So it's, uh, it's super easy. Then you've got your raw veggies ready to go. Um, we've got three different types of fruit here. We've got some fresh berries, honeydew melon, and some pineapple. I love to cut it all up at the very beginning of the week wash it, dry it, and then put it in containers so that you can just eat from it the whole week. Then there's no excuse because it's all prepped and ready to go in the fridge. And it's organized. Another tip saver and easy meal prep is to just buy bag salad and then you just measure it out and you're done. So we've got those. And then our one of our main meals is going to be chicken soup. So, um, because we like to measure out our carbs and our protein, we have all of the broth here, which is reduced sodium chicken broth, and it has some um, baby carrots and some celery, and we used a whole onion that was sauteed in a little bit of olive oil, and then we've got everything here, so we'll measure the broth out on the day we eat it. And this is about six boxes of um, just great value low sodium chicken broth. Yeah, and we just basically sauteed the onion in a little bit of olive oil and then once it was translucent we poured in all the broth and chopped up the celery, threw the carrots in and we simmered it until we were happy with the texture and the softness of the veggies. This has been roasted this chicken um, it's got Italian seasoning and salt and pepper on it, and that's it. And this is jasmine rice. This is Kyle's, so he has four ounces of chicken and a cup of rice. And this one is mine. I have three ounces of chicken and half a cup of rice. And so basically, when it's time to eat these, we're just going to pour them in a bowl and then measure out a cup of the veggies and then about probably one and a half to two cups of broth to make a nice big bowl of soup. And you want to get yourself different colored lids. We got these containers from the dollar store. I'm red, Nicole's blue because we have different amounts of rice and chicken. Exactly, and I have one more item to show you. Prepped here, we got some lean turkey burgers at Walmart. They're just the our finest lean turkey burgers. They're about six grams of fat per burger, which is really good. And 20 protein. And 20 grams of protein, and only like zero or no carbs, yeah. I can't remember. And we used fat-free cheese slices. So this is what they look like. There are four of them in this container. We're just going to pull them out one at a time as we need them. Separated them with some parchment paper. Yep, they're separated with parchment paper so that the cheese doesn't come off. We will top these with some tomato and some lettuce and some mayo, some light mayo. You can put them on bread or you can wrap them in lettuce. It's totally up to you. We are going to put them on bread, but in the future we may do lettuce as well. So that's it for the um, major meals. And then I'll just show you how I measure out um, one of the containers. So I'll do Kyle's. I'm gonna zero out the scale and then I'm gonna put some chicken on. We have a perfect portions food scale from Bed Bath & Beyond. Here. Yep. And I'm just gonna measure the chicken 
keep going until it reads four ounces. And then I'm gonna measure out a cup of rice. And again, this is just jasmine rice that's been cooked in the rice cooker. Yeah, friends, get yourself a nice, doesn't have to be fancy, this is a Black & Decker rice cooker. I think we got it at Walmart. And it's old and it is awesome. And it does the job. So that's what it looks like and it is ready to go. I'm so excited for soup this week. Me too. Um, and friends, that's going to be our post-workout because the jasmine rice will be our fast-acting carbs, just in case you were wondering. Um, so that's it for this week's meal prep. We really hope that you enjoy it. Stay tuned because we will have a full day of eating for you featuring these items and you can see like our portion sizes and what else we eat with them. Yeah, you'll see our breakfast and other meals and snacks. Yep, so stay tuned my fancy friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. And if you don't do that, you're gonna have to get the sticky rice measuring cup of doom. Uh-oh. Uh, it's sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys, thanks Bye guys. for watching.